हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉप ट्वेंटी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स फॉर इन प्रोसेस क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस आई पी क्यू ए फ्रेंड्स बिफोर स्टडिंग द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू फॉर मोर वीडियो अपडेट्स डोंट फॉर गुड टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो Question number one is, what is in process checks? The answer is, in process checks are checks performed during an activity in order to monitor and, if necessary, to adjust the process to ensure that product conform to its specification. Next is, what needs to be checked during in process QA checks? The answer is. नंबर वन एनवायरमेंटल मॉनिटरिंग नंबर टू मिजर्ड वैल्यू ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस इक्विपमेंट लाइक टेम्परेचर आरपीएम एक्सेट्रा नंबर थर्ड इज मिजर्ड वैल्यू ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम पर्सनस लाइक टाइमिंग एंट्रीज एक्सेट्रा एंड नंबर फोर इज प्रोसेस एट्रीब्यूट्स लाइक वेट्स हार्डनेस फ्राइबिलिटी एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट इज What is the weight variation limits for tablets and capsules? The answer is for tablets, as per IP and BP, 80 mg or less plus minus 10 percent, more than 80 mg or less than 250 mg plus minus 7.5 percent, 250 mg or more plus minus 5 percent. On the other hand, as per USP, 130 mg or less. Plus minus 10 percent, 130 mg to 324 mg plus minus 7.5 percent, and more than 324 mg plus minus 5 percent. And for capsules, less than 300 mg plus minus 10 percent, and 300 mg or more plus minus 7.5 percent. Next is. What is the recommended temperature for checking DT of a dispersible tablets? The answer is 25 plus minus 1 degree centigrade as per IP and 15 to 25 degree centigrade as per BP. Next is which method is employed for checking uniformity of doses unit? The answer is two methods are employed. For uniformity of doses unit, number one is by content uniformity method, and number two is by weight variation method. Weight variation is applicable for following doses forms: hard gelatin capsules, uncoated and film coated tablets containing 25 mg or more of a drug substance comprising 25 percent or more by weight of doses unit. Next is what is the recommended upward and downward movement frequency of a basket rack assembly in a DT apparatus? The answer is twenty-eight to thirty-two cycles per minute. Next is what are the probable reasons if sticking observed during tablet compression? The answer is number one. If the granules are not dried properly, sticking can occur. Number two is too little or improper lubrication. Number third is too much binder. And number fourth is hygroscopic granular. Next is what is the position of oblong tablets to be placed in hardness tester to determine the hardness, lengthwise or Width wise, the answer is position of oblong tablets should be length wise because the probability of breakage is more in this position. Next is how many tablets shall be taken for checking friability? The answer is for tablets with the average weights equal or less than six fifty mg, take sample of whole tablets corresponding to six point five gram. For tablets with the average weight more than 650 mg, 
टेक ए सैंपल ऑफ टेन होल टेबलेट्स नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज द एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया फॉर फ्राइबिलिटी टेस्ट द आंसर इज जनरली द टेस्ट इज रन वंस इन केस क्रैक्ट क्लिप्ड और ब्रोकन टेबलेट्स आर फाउंड इन द टेबलेट सैंपल आफ्टर टम्बलिंग द सैंपल फेल्स द टेस्ट इन केस द रिजल्ट आर डिफिकल्ट टू इंटरप्रेट और द वेट लॉस इज ग्रेटर देन द टारगेट वैल्यू द टेस्ट इज रिपीटेड टू आइस एंड द मीन ऑफ द थ्री टेस्ट डिटरमाइंड ए मैक्सिमम लॉस ऑफ मास नॉट मोर देन वन परसेंट इज कंसिडर्ड एक्सेप्टेबल फॉर मोस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स व्हिच इन्फ्लुएंस टेबलेट हार्डनेस द आंसर इज नंबर वन कंप्रेशन फोर्स नंबर टू बाइंडिंग क्वालिटी मोर बाइंडर मोर हार्डनेस एंड नंबर थर्ड इज मॉइस्चर कंटेंट नेक्स्ट इज व्हिच कैप्सूल इज बिगर इन साइज साइज जीरो और साइज वन द आंसर इज जीरो साइज नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट इज मेस एपर्चर ऑफ डी टी एपरेटस द आंसर इज 1.8 to 2.2 mm. Next is what is the pass or fail criteria for disintegration test? The answer is if one or two tablets or capsules fail to disintegrate completely, repeat the test on another 12 additional doses unit. The requirement is meet if not less than 16 out of 18 tablets or capsule tested are disintegrated completely next is what precautions shall be taken while collecting in process samples the answer is while collecting in process samples avoid contamination of the product being sampled do not collect samples with bare hands and avoid contamination of sample taken next is what are the parameter shall be carried out during calibration of dt apparatus the answer is during calibration of dt apparatus following checks shall be performed number 1 number of strokes per minutes number 2 temperature by probe and standard thermometer and number 3 is distance travel by the basket next is why do we calibrate a qualified equipment or instrument on definite intervals the answer is an equipment or instrument can drift out of accuracy between the time of qualification and actual use so it is recommended to calibrate and recalibrate the measuring devices and instruments on predetermined time intervals to gain confidence on the accuracy of the data next is what is the difference between calibration and validation the answer is calibration is a demonstration that a particular instrument or device produces results within a specified limit by comparison with those produced by a reference or traceable standard over an appropriate range of measurements whereas validation is a documented program that provides high degree of assurance that a specific process method or system consistently produces a result meeting predetermined acceptance criteria next is when performing the uniformity of weight of the doses unit how many tablets or capsule can deviate the established limit the answer is not more than two of the individual weights can deviate from the average weight by more than the percentage given in the pharmacopias and none can deviates more than twice that percentage and the last is what is the fall height of the tablets in the fribulator during fribility testing the answer is 6 inches 
एवलेट्स फॉल फ्रॉम द सिक्स इंचेस हाइट इन ईस्टर्न विद इन द एपरेटस